So I kind of destroyed my village. I used to have a nice little village right next to Gestovia, which I dubbed New Gestovia, but I ran out of space to expand, so I decided to pack up and move my entire village over to this new location near Denica. My new village was really coming together, but I hit the building limit, so I only had one thing I could do. I tore New Gestovia apart, leaving it a shell of its former self. All of this happened in year 14, and we are now in year 21. My son Radagos has just had his 18th birthday, and I want to show you how both villages are doing before retiring Rasimir and handing it all over to Radagost. And here's old Rasimir. Looking good at a prime 38 years of age. Let's show off his legacy, shall we? But yeah, we're going to start off at the south end of town. So basically here we got our herbalist hut. I have done a little bit of updating to the village since we have the new decoration update. We have a fire, we have a bunch of herbs. Everybody's probably getting ready to go to work. We got a nice little area for the dove coat. Another house with a trellis and some kids hanging out. And here's our fishing hut. But yeah, this village took a decent amount of time to work on. But only recently have I added a lot of the new decorations. So right here we have a production area. This is where the woodcutting lodge is. We have a couple wood cutting lodges actually, as well as a little area for them to keep all the firewood and cut some firewood. Obviously we have our hunting lodge right here. And I really don't have a place to put all these traps. We kind of just have these animals rotting here right now. <laughs> uh, but we have all of our traps, we have our tanning areas. And then we have another little neighborhood. This is my favorite little neighborhood. This is just mostly simple small houses. It almost reminds me of like a cozy hamlet inside of a village. And it, of course, has an exit to the northern side of town. But we'll get to that. Actually, let's go that way. Why not? This is like the northmost area. We just have a couple houses out here. And this is the northmost entrance of the village. So if you want to see from here, this is what we got. I'm ignoring the middle of the village at this moment, just kind of checking out the houses right now. So we'll keep over to this side and keep hitting up the neighborhoods. And we'll go to the back right here. This is like the western orchard side houses. These guys mostly just tend to trees and hops. And this is the western entrance. I kind of wanted to have a trail in between the trees somewhere in the village. And so this is where we decided to put it. On the western side of the village. Another dovecoat. And a couple more houses. I really need to vary up the houses a bit, but I haven't gotten to it. 
Let's make a little stop at my house. This is my house right here. You've probably seen it in a couple of the videos. Somebody's working on my, my personal field. How nice of them. Gertruda. Nothing inside the house is special. I kind of just have bare skin rugs. A skull, some lights, some curtains. Enough. Maybe more than enough, I would say. And then we got the hillside neighborhood. This is just like directly behind my house. We have three more houses of just a small group of people. They also have their own wood cutting area and a little bell tower. I love how these bell towers ring like at the start of the day and the end of the day. We got more clothing lines and another privy, my privy. I have like a little cat walk right here. And then the, the sheep are right outside my house. I had trouble deciding where I wanted to put all of these animals because I have a lot of animals. So these are just a few of the animals that are in the middle of the village. But these sheep bring me in lots and lots of money, lots of wool. And then I guess I guess we'll show off the middle of the village. Why not? So I guess before we get to the middle of the village, we got our workshop. It's kind of like hidden in this nook We got our, wor we got our workshop right here. And then we also have our sewing hut and our resource storage. So I got a stack of logs and a wicker basket full of a couple random resources. But yeah, this is the middle of the village. We have our well in the middle of the village as well as another bell tower. We have the inn, kind of like the centerpiece of the town square. We got the smithy going. They're working pretty hard. And we also have a couple market stalls. So we have one market stall in this corner. And these sell food, by the way. And then we have this market stall. And on top of that, of course, we have our kitchen right here. We got our little butter churn and we got our food storage as well as some benches so people can hang out. I haven't done much decorating inside the inn, but we have a couple tables outside the inn as well as a communal campfire. And then right next to the inn, it only seemed fitting, we have our stable. Now this area is basically just the donkey shelter and the stable confined in one area. But it's like this big rectangular space. We have some hay. Here's all the animals hanging out together. Oh, we got some babies. Got a baby horse and a baby donkey. But yeah, this is our little stable area. And then we'll go to the east a little bit. And this is where the main farming area is. So we got our farm sheds. We got two farm sheds here specifically. 
So when I built the village, this is one of the main things I wanted to have in town. Like not directly in the center of town, but very close to the middle of town, I wanted to have a mill surrounded by fields. Kind of like the fields in Age of Empires 2. I don't know if you get that reference, but kind of something like that. And they're still working on cutting down the rye. But yeah, you really, I really need more than four farmers for this area. Because this isn't the only field as well. I guess I should go over here. I have another communal fire area. As well as a privy and some more hay bales. But I also have this farm right here. I believe these are all carrots. Yeah, yeah, these are all carrots. Since we were over here earlier, I'll just show this off. We have our chickens. We got the cows also awfully close to the chickens. What is this kid doing here? Some hay bales, some fertilizer, a cart. The cows are just minding their own business. And I was over here originally, so let's go this way. So we also have our excavation huts and our barn. Barn's full of a couple people right now. And the barn has pretty good access to the field. And then we got a couple more houses. And then we have this little communal back area. How's it going, kids? We got the Coven of Witches. In the middle of the day, all the kids just like to hang out in this area. And we got three of them right now. We got some more wood areas because this is kind of like the communal campfire area that everybody hangs out at. As you can see, lots of people are walking around. At least the kids. I don't know why the kids hang out in this area. Oh, they're congregating. They're getting ready for their annual meeting. Yeah, we got some more wood. We got another dove cut. Another dove coat, my bad. And a few more houses. Oh, we got the entire coven here. What wicked rituals are you up to, kids? Can't trust these kids. Anyway. Oh, yeah, we got our other field right here. This is where the second carrot field is. Just like next to one of these houses. And then we got a little back area we can cut out of. And over here, we have our apiary with the bees. These are kind of sectioned off in their own areas. The bees, and then of course we got the pigs. Seems like a little amount of pigs. Well, that's, that's, that's the total amount of pigs. It didn't seem like... Feels like a couple are missing. It's probably because of the babies. Got a couple more privies and a brassiere. And now let's go to the market. So this is my market area. We got a clothed guy right here. That's kind of on the corner, but this is like the main area. We have a, a mini hangout spot with a couple trees in the middle. as well as a bunch of other market stalls, mostly selling weapons. Cudgels, spears, crossbows.
clay vials, cups, wooden vials. Though I doubt he's selling wooden vials anymore ever since the economic crash. A couple more weapons and tools. We mostly sell tools in this town now. Got some pickaxes and some some copper and iron. Nobody's hanging out here, but when they do, just light that up. And then this takes us back up to our house. Yeah, I think that's pretty much most of this main village. Maybe I missed these couple houses in the corner right here. Oh, a little cranny where a more, more kids are scheming. Yeah, you've been caught. Yeah, run away. What did he just say? Okay, enough. I can carry what I want to carry. But yeah, that's the village. I'll do a couple fly around shots too, so I can show you the village at some other angles. And since it's getting dark, I guess we'll go to sleep and then we'll go check out what's left of New Gustovia. And now we're going to show off New Gustovia, or at least what's left of New Gustovia. A lot of things have changed in New Gustovia. A couple of these houses in this area, like this main road, are still the same. So we still have our smithy, we have a woodcutter, and my very first house that I built. It's a... Um, yep, old house. This is my first house I built. Now in the back, we had a builder's hut initially, but now we have some privies in this corner. We got another wood cutting area for our woodcutters here. This was my original workshop. Not much has changed with this workshop. Just a standard workshop. This area has changed a lot, though. So these two buildings have always been here. But all of this has completely changed. So, for example, this backyard area is completely redone. I cut out a lot of the living area or the living space because this used to be where all the animal farms were. But now we just have a couple chickens. I'm in desperate need of eggs, so I wanted the extra chickens. This is another entrance. I think this entrance was always here initially. Because I used to have like an old orchard, which is still up. Right outside this door. But now it takes us to this house right here. As well as another bell tower couple more houses and another hunting lodge this is a bit new I moved around the stables a bit and gave it the new fences I don't have any animals in this stable not yet at least another hangout area there are a few people that live here here's our Farmers that take care of this area. I think this field I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing with this field Looks like I'm doing a little bit of everything with this field. I don't think I really do much management in this area But I got a couple orchards surrounding this one field Gets the job done Gives us a little bit of extra resources. And then we have the old inn. 
We had a, a salesperson out here. As well as this really, like, uneven tavern area. I never really liked this. But I kind of just had to make do with what I had. But yep, that tavern is still up and going. I have more sheep. Initially, I was just going to put more... Uh, I was going to put goats here. Because I don't have any goats. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought... I'd probably get more value out of getting extra wool than having goats for milk. So... In this area, I don't remember what used to be here. I think this was all like village housing. And right next to the sheep, on the opposite side, this is my market. This is New Gustovia Market. I really liked this area when I built it. I don't know, there's just some sort of... It gives off this feeling. I try to keep as many trees in the area as possible and build around it. So all the shade and all these bushes. And I don't think all of these market stalls are running. Was it just three of them? Yeah, this one's empty and this one's empty. I have way more market stalls than I really need. And I'll probably do that. I'll do something with that later. But for now, I just like the look of this place, so I'm keeping it as is. And then we have geese. I don't really need the extra feathers. Realistically, I could have put more chickens and had like three sets of chickens. But it, it just seems like too many chickens. So we have geese. And I really need to fill out this area because I did not know what to put here. And of course, we got a privy, just in case, right? And I think I had a fishing hut out back as well. But I don't know if it's there anymore. I think I took it out. Yeah. And I took the fishing hut out. But yeah, this is new Gustovia. Honestly, it's not that bad. In fact, I think this is where Radagost, or rather, I think this is where Rasimir is going to retire. Once I give the village off to Radagost, I'll probably move Rasimir and Edberga back into this house and let Radagost run the main village. Where is Radagost? Radagost! It's time! I was but a boy when I came to the valley, and now it's time to pass it all to you. Hello there. I carried on as long as I could, but I'm simply tired. I'm very proud of the man you have become. I have great faith in you, and I'm sure you will surpass me as a leader. It's time for you to take my place. You're about to start playing as your heir as a result of this decision. Your current character will become an NPC. This process is irreversible. Do I wish to continue? Let's proceed. What the hell? I just put on his clothes. Is there any weightlifting competition I don't know about? Father! How is life treating you? Oh my gosh! Look at him! Rasmir NPC! Let's take a closer look at you. Look at his stats. I never got my hunting up to 10. Oh, but dang. Rasmir is boosted. Maybe I'll make you a farmer. You can take care of your own farm and just hang out outside the house. Or maybe I'll make him like the innkeeper. That would be kind of cool. Rasmir, the innkeeper. Just kind of serving the village. Hello. This is just so trippy to me. I'm no longer playing Rasmir. He's the NPC. But it's time for some new blood. Radagost. Is my hair white? What the heck? Hold on. 
Take off my hat. Hello? Radagost, you dyed your hair bleach blonde. It must be stressful running these villages. 30 minutes and he's already lost all of the color in his hair. How tragic. But yeah, these are my villages so far, and this is about as good of a time as any to retire this save. I'm still gonna keep a couple save files for this game, but I wanna make an even bigger village now that the Oxbow is out. If you made it this far, be sure to check out the story that started it all. But until next time, thanks for watching and take care.